So for today, we're going to be looking at the Veil Tithe set. If you guys don't know, we already reviewed the armor. It's right here. You guys can check it out. We look at how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts, and just overall pretty good video. The next one is going to be just shaders, uh, as in I go through all of the shaders that I currently own and just put it on the armor. So that way you guys are aware of how it looks with shaders. And yeah, I think both of these videos are definitely worth a look because again, if you guys are interested in this armor even slightly, then you guys are going to have something to look at and some references as well because again we go through all of it and i basically explain like the pros and cons about the armor set so again this video is going to be looking at the hunters specifically each of the pieces i make a full armor set and that's pretty much it so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe i really do appreciate it other than that let's look at the first one we're going to be using the helmet for this one and for this one i decided to go with a i wanted to go with a taken look but not like it's typical taken look which is why i'm using the aphotic grips i'm not even going to try to say that one because i always fuck it up so the aphotic grips is what we're using really like these arms one of my favorite arms just because they look super cool for the chest piece layering marrow ornament for the omni oculus is a choice that i made just because it's very like hivey and for speaking of hive we're going to be using the strength of the taken king i think these boots are amazing and for the cloak we're going to be using dark hollow mantle just because again hive so for this one the shader is testudo specifically because i'm trying to turn off the strides of the taken king glow which i i hate the fact that 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 whole armor set for all the classes has a glow over the actual armor set which is just terrible whoever designed that i'm sorry you might have think it was cool and it is cool but i would have just loved i would have just loved if you could turn it off so this one is my favorite probably just because of how cool it looks and i'm using omni oculus which i'm definitely going to be using in day one raid at least i'm going to have a build for it just in case but overall i'm very excited for this look let me know what you guys think about this one the next look we're going to be looking at acolytes ambition ornament for the worm husk crown and this one is pretty cool because the arms specifically the veil type gauntlets i think look really cool with this set the apilos following best the aphotic strides and the steeplechase cloak are the other pieces that we're using and for this one i i'm gonna be real with you guys i'm i'm like i like it but i think the shader choice needs to be different just because acolytes ambition is so cool it's such a cool ornament i just don't like the fact that the glow is completely different than the other things which is more of a nougat delight problem which is what the shader is called i definitely should have switched the shader out especially since i ended up reusing the shader again for a different set to be fair i did i forgot that i used this shader on this set so when i had made this the other one i was like man this looks so cool and i just ended up using it so that's why i'm using two shaders in two sets but if i'm being honest i would immediately switch the shader out for something else uh for this set just because again the glow on acolytes ambition is just not jiving with me so yeah that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think about this one i would probably end up switching the boots as well just because they're not as bony as the other ones uh, specifically the chest piece and the arms but i like where my head was going let's just say that as for the next set it is the same shader again nougat delight this one however i think is a little bit cooler just because for the helmet resonant fury mask is what i'm using with the actual veiled veil tights cloak i think both of these look really cool and then we're also using the chest piece because again i usually combine two pieces in one set so that way it's it's like fair to the titan and warlocks but if i'm being honest i can make a whole set with all the pieces for the hunter but the warlock and titans i can't usually do that so for this one grips of the great hunt is what we're using just because i'm going for a not royal but like a noble look like kind of like i'm an asshole type thing and for that we're using nemean strides as well overall i think all of it looks really cool the cool the really really cool thing is the fact that the chest piece can be used either as a hive piece or a like noble royal type feel because it's bony but not bony enough to make it hive so that's why i really like the chest piece that being said i'm not the biggest fan of the chest piece it's very like targeted if i if i if that makes any sense like you have to really make it look cool and i personally don't think the arms look really that good with it my girlfriend my girlfriend told me it looked really good with it so i was like fuck it i'm gonna follow your advice because i cannot find arms that look good with it and yeah no exotic on this one either just because i was having real like i was having a big problem with this with this set just because it was really pissing me off and then for the nougat delight honestly i really like the like 
like the color of it, like the off white looks just so good with it. Beige, I would, I guess you would say. And then the green also like on the, especially on the boots and the just embroidery in general looks really cool. That's why I went with it. So let me know what you guys think about this one. Is this one better than the last one? Let me know in the comments below. And for the last piece, we're going to be using the boots. I think this set looks cool as fuck. So mask of trepidation is what we're using for this one. And for the exotic, we're going to be using Seal Ahankara Grasps. I love these arms. They're like one of my favorite arms since Destiny 1. Unfortunately, they're trash compared to Destiny 1's because Destiny 1's you got... You basically got a free melee as well. So that's why I've always hated the Destiny 2 counterpart because they don't give you the melee like they did in Destiny 1. For the chest piece, we're using Dark Hollow Chitin. For the boots, obviously, we're using Veiled Tithe's boots. And then for the cloak, we're using the Aphotic Cloak. This came out really cool. It looks kind of like a shark in my head because of Tre Mask of Trepidation. And then the bony pieces just really lends itself because the boots also have a bit of like chitin on the actual hips and or thighs, I guess you would say. And overall, I think the set looks amazing. The shader, Donning Brilliance, looks amazing with this set. Overall, I'm really happy with this set. If I were to change one thing, it would probably be like Dark Hollow Chitin, like the chest piece. I could probably switch that out for something else that has a bony look because my only gripe with it is the fact, and this is very minor, but for me, the, the boots have a really dark blue compared to the light blue, or not light blue, but just basically boot, blue of the chest piece so if i could find a chest piece that not only has chitin like as in like bony pieces but also has that dark blue that the pants have then i'd be pretty happy because then it would look like all just one set like like kind of like he had to like a onesie but also not lame sounding as that but yeah let me know what you guys think i really like a lot of these to be fair though I think the first one is probably my favorite just because that one goes really hard. That being said, I think the fourth one is also my favorite just because it looks super cool and the shadering just makes it look even better. If I'm being quite honest, the two in the middle, I'm like either or like I like both of them, but I think the, the second one definitely needed a different shader. And then the third one honestly just needs an exotic because realistically no one's not using an exotic. So like I do these these quite a bit where i don't have an exotic in the set and that's more of a like put whatever exotic you want to put on it because i think the overall aesthetic looks really cool so let me know what you guys think titans warlocks you guys are up next and i'm gonna be real with you guys i'm actually really excited for y'all so be safe i will see you guys later